What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report without you guys, as well as you ladies. You know that this literally does not work. Hope you all are having a wonderful day. I'm actually here downtown Washington, D.C., and let me I tell you, it's uh, beautiful to be down through here. I'm actually outside of the National Portrait Gallery here. Um, my wife has an appointment this morning, and while I'm waiting for her, I wanted to go in and take a look. Um, and I show some stuff for the uh, from the red brick house because believe it or not this building is built with the same kind of red bricks that are in the red brick house and it's kind of cool this is the counter over here which is the current home of the uh, Wizards and uh, which will be moving or they'll be building a new building <coughs> uh, in Virginia so that will be definitely becoming something else it's actually beautiful out here and I'm just waiting for to open up so we do have some news okay the Cowboys we heard last night right at the beginning of NFL honors that the Cowboys were hiring Mike Zimmer um, a little birdie told me a little birdie kind of whispered in my ear this morning and said they're close this was at 8 o'clock this morning that they were close on the deal but it wasn't finalized as of yet that, of course, the Joneses, they like a bargain, okay? We're hiring you, so you're supposed to work for less than anybody else. So I don't think that there's going to be any snafus or anything on there. I think they're just working it out, trying to get the contract and the contract language to where it is equitable for both sides. We'll see how that goes. The bigger question will be is, will we just be retaining the rest of the coaches that haven't gone elsewhere? Will Aiden Durden come back as the defensive line coach? Will Al Harris still be the defensive back coach? An interesting take. <clears throat> My man, Game Time Brian, and he'll be doing his live stream lunchtime. Check him out uh, this afternoon. He's getting close. He's, we're, we're trying to get him to 1,500 subscribers um, by Super Bowl, by the end of Super Bowl. And I think he's like 150 or so away or something like that. So definitely check him out. He's putting in the work. He's doing it before he goes to work. He's doing it on his lunchtime. He's doing it and doing it and doing it well, even in the evenings. But he pointed out, because a lot of people, myself included, would say, hey, I'd like to see um, Al Harris get the opportunity to be defensive coordinator. Al Harris appreciates the love, but says he's never called the, you know, the, the formations or the plays and things like that, that he is still too new to be the guy to do that. That's not to say that Al Harris won't be in the future, but he's just beginning his coaching career. And in most cases, it's actually better off that a guy gets more experiences at different positions and things. You see a lot of the great coaches, they aren't just instantly hired as a coach. Now, the new age today, of course, with the Anthony Antonio Pierce and uh, the Texans coach and stuff, those guys were immediately hired to make a Ryan's so almost immediately as head coaches as opposed to going up the chain and coaching for 10 or 15 years being you know linebacker coach delay coach assistant uh to, you know coordinator and stuff and eventually becoming head coaches he's still in the beginning of his journey and he's okay with what he's doing now it'll be interesting to see will this be a sea change in coaching staff and how much power will mike zimmer actually have as the defensive coach coordinator will he be able to pick pick and choose the guys that he wants um, when we think about Rod Marnelli Rod Marnelli had a certain type of guy that he wanted you know he wanted the Taco Charlton's he wanted the Tristan Hills and those guys never panned out for the Cowboys um, Dan Quinn has always liked and I think the Cowboys do as well they like guys that are taller and leaner um, which is great when you're a pass rusher but the problem with having guys that are taller and leaner is when it comes to stopping the run, you might be a guy who is 300 pounds, but if you're 6'5", you're kind of lean. Um, I've got a picture with, say, Tyron Crawford from years ago. Tyron Crawford, quite frankly, is built kind of like I am, but skinnier. See, I'm about 5'10 right now. I'm shrinking because I'm getting old. He's about 6'5", okay? He's about 10 pounds heavier than I am. So if you take my build and you stretch it out, one, you end up having a higher center of gravity, two, you don't have a lot of mass. Whereas you want to get, we had a guy named Doug West who um, at JMU unfortunately 
he ended up dying because he fell off the back of a pickup truck head first, but was an incredible one technique guy. Doug was about 5'10", 5'11", but he weighed about 310 pounds. His center of gravity was literally right here at his stomach. And, things. and because he was so low to the ground and so almost like a bowling ball, it's harder to root a guy out of there like that. When you are a taller, leaner type of a player, you're, you get down low, your body has more that can be exposed and doesn't have the weight, so you get rooted out a lot easier. And so it'll be interesting to see the type of players that Mike Zimmer wants to have here and if the Cowboys will, in fact, go through and allow him to be helping to pick the type of guys that he wants. Man, it's just crazy looking around out here. Um, now how much the uh, area has changed. There's a whole bunch of new buildings that weren't here when I worked here probably about four years or so ago. Uh, up here, you'll see, I love this camera. Oh my goodness. I don't know if that's a school or what that is up there, but the view I'm sure is really nice. The things that are capturing my eyes here. This is the first time I've really been out and doing videotaping here. Uh, see, we've got the school kids that are going into the art gallery here and stuff. But it'll be interesting to see what the Cowboys do, as well as what the Cowboys, uh, who the Cowboys decide to keep. They do have a lot of decisions that they need to make. Stephon Gilmore is a free agent. Um, Dante Fowler is. Dorrance Armstrong is. Navelle Gallimore. So if they let those guys all go, those are all guys that are going to have to be replaced. And you just don't know who you're going to find that's uh, going to fit your role. And the bigger question will be, the bigger question will be is, are the Cowboys actually going to go in and really try to do something in free agency? And friends, we're only talking about a month of time. It is getting really, really close to time for legal tampering uh, in the NFL. So that's what we got. I um, hope all you guys are having a great day. As soon as we finally get an official word about Mike Zimmer becoming the head coach, excuse me. <laughs> okay, let me rephrase that. About Mike Zimmer becoming the defensive coordinator, we shall let you guys know. And uh, hopefully I can get in here and get this video before uh, uh, time for my wife's appointment is over with. So I got to go back around the corner and pick her up. All right, good people. See you soon. Peace.